I'm Denise. I'm Katie. I've been friends with Katie for over 20 years. I cannot believe it's been 20 years. This is 88 Chat. Where we talk about a really random brand. Hello, friends, and welcome to our first episode of 88 Chat. What would you like to discuss, Katie? That's a great question. Um, I just drew a total blank. I was going to say something and I lost it. So <laughs> <laughs> that's not helpful at all. Let's do, let's do a book reading. Okay. Just because I haven't had, I, the only time I've seen that done is usually through the show Wishbones or the one with Belle. Time out. I need you to tell me about the show with Belle for a little bit because I don't remember that. So. <laughs> so I think it was in PBS or Disney one or two back when I had cable. There were shows that where Belle was in her own book place. I forgot in the li- one of the libraries of where the town she lives in. And she would pull out these books and read them to children. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a live action one. Really? Yeah. And there was kids involved. I remember that part because I cu- watched it a couple times. Live action bell. I, I don't remember that. I have to Google this now. Find it on YouTube. <laughs> okay, sing me a story with bell. That's what it was called. That's actually very familiar. Why can't I remember that? It's very vintage. Um, but yeah, you should look it up. Yeah. It reminds me of another live action show that I know I watched as a kid. Um, real throwback. There was a live action Alice in Wonderland. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it was called Adventures in Wonderland. And um, the the characters had like tuxedo jackets and they were riding roller skates. It was very 90s. <laughs> so apparently those not live action Disney shows were a thing from our time. <laughs> I'm going to be going down the rabbit hole watching those all night. <laughs> it's very interesting. That's why I'm like, I'm thinking maybe I'll either do maybe a story just because I love reading stories. So it's always nice to maybe do a very nostalgia book that we maybe do something with Agatha Christie. And that yeah. A fun series to do. I think so. So now you just have to pick, uh, and we have to find out which Agatha Christie books we both currently own that we can use. <laughs> and I, can, I can always get on Amazon. I can put it on my Kindle. I can read that. Do you have Oriental Express? I think so. If you wait one second, I can go grab my, they're like all in the same spot on my shelf, I think, unless, there, I don't think there's any hiding here. It, maybe. Okay, mm-hmm. so show you what I have. Some of these I have read, some of them I haven't. You were saying. This is the one you haven't. I have Orient Express, which I have, you know what? We should definitely do this one soon because I haven't read it in a long time, if at all, but I have seen the movies. I have opinions. I have this definitely one. read this one multiple times. Which uh, was that? And then there are none? Yes. That one, that, that one is a really weird one and very dark. Yes. And what makes it interesting um, is compare and contrast on the films. There's multiple movies with different endings. Oops, spoiler, sorry. Um, then I have The Mirror Cracked from Side to Side. I have Death in the Clouds, which I am about halfway through and have forgotten half of it, so I could start over. Oh, look, I have two copies of Mirror Cracked from Side to Side. If you don't have one, you can have one of mine. Um, <laughs> I have By the Pricking of My Thumbs. I have Ooh. Sparkling Cyanide. I've not read That's- most of the stuff. Oh, and these ones are definitely going to have to come up at the right times of year because I have Poirot Halloween and Poirot Christmas. 
I say so during the holidays, holiday season, what do you call uh, her do pro Christmas? That's why I got them was so I'd have books to read every year at Halloween and Christmas. Mm -hmm. I got halfway, no, yeah, I got halfway through Halloween and then the rest of 2020 happened. So I never got to finish it. Uh, so yeah, those are what I have. As I'm listening to the Audio Oriental Express, mm -hmm. I haven't gone through all of it because there is such, the stories, I, I watched the 90s version, the one with the actual good Hikiku Pro. I'm sorry, not the modern version. I'm sorry, you have to play to the character. The guy's, he's not tall, he's short, he has an egg shape. It's described in the books. Please, please. There's so much wrong with that movie. And I, I'm scared to say that because somebody's going to be mad to hear me say it, but there's so much wrong with that movie. <laughs> All right, well, we'll discuss it. Let's, let's do with the, that one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so I think because my audio book is um, two books uh, instead of just one. The first book is Murder on the Links. Oh, okay. I don't have that one and I'm very curious about it. It's a very interesting one just because, yeah, it's very interesting. I almost got that one um, multiple times because it's when I, uh, okay, so I have my really old books, the small ones, and then this entire stack of bigger ones I got during pandemic times because I needed things to read and clearly didn't get around to doing. Uh, I ordered them all at once from Powell's um, and that book was like a dozen different copies of it. They had so many. For some reason that made me not buy it <laughs> so now i'm regretting it um because i'm very curious i wonder if the library has either a digital copy or an audiobook probably does um so with yeah i can always do that too i don't love doing reading on my phone uh, it's not my favorite i'd rather have a real book um, so would i but so we'll end it here Bye. Thanks for watching this episode of 88 Chat. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment.